G'day all and welcome to Southern Cross Amateur Astro and a video user guide for APT where we're going to be looking at the advanced tab in APT settings and see what it does in there. So let's get right into this. And finally we come to the last tab in your APT settings which is the advanced tabs and basically this is settings you don't have a home anywhere else. It's just somewhere to put them all. Uh, we may need an advanced tab to the way things are going on this one. Um, plan start delay. This is simply if you want to delay the start of a plan after you've hit the shoot button or the start button. Uh, this will delay it however many seconds you've got here. I've never used it so I'm not going to worry about it too much. Uh, your live view stack count. Uh, if you're using stacking for your live view this is the number of images it will use for it to stack. Um, then you simply have your PC free space, so it checks your hard drive to make how much, make sure how much space you've got left. Um, you can set this to whatever you like. The default is 4,000 uh, megabytes or four, four gigabytes. Um, generally, most people won't run into that problem nowadays with the way storage is, but you may run out. Who knows? Uh, camera low space limit. This deals with your uh, SD card. Or your micro SD card in your camera uh, and let you know when you're running low on space on that and same with the battery limit um, if you're running off a battery rather than a dummy battery or AC or whatever um, you can set your limit to what the battery reaches before you start giving a, a warning you yeah, probably 20% or something like that you'd want in there and the same with the PC battery if you're running a laptop off its battery uh, you can set a warning there as well and you'll get a warning at that level now this one's um, more for uh, older cameras or extreme EOS shutters um, if you're using a trigger delay for the Boyula I don't know how you pronounce that uh, if you're using their cables for your EOS um, extreme shutter um, you can set the delay for that one for when an image is ending and the delay in milliseconds for extreme shutter uh, that's something I'll have to cover later on it's not something I use um, I don't have the cables or anything to do it, so there's not really much I can say about that one. You're probably better off actually just reading the user guide. Um, I, uh, where am I? Up here. Um, Astro Tortilla ISO um, defines a maximum of used for images taken with Astro Tortilla. Okay, so it's just a limit if you're using Astro Tortilla. So that's one there if you're using it. Um, your DSLR histogram auto stretch, I'm going to put that down actually. Um, I find that the auto stretch is too much for my DSLR images so I send it at 0.5. Uh, your profile selection timeout, if you have multiple profiles you get the, the selection screen come up for your start and this is just a timer for how long before it boots into the last profile you used. Uh, I just leave it at 5, that's fine. If you take, if you're not watching it, and it goes, and if and if you are watching it, and you want to change, you'll do it in that time anyway. Uh, the folder locations before and after midnight or midday. Um, it's better to have it after midday. That way, all the images from a single night will be in a single folder, rather than being transferred you know, half the night in one folder and the other half in another folder. Uh, just much easier that way. But it's personal choice. If you're using XP and Vista update. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I enjoyed XP, Vista could go, but um, yeah, if you're using them you can use bigger fonts, um, advanced flats and bias plans, um, generally if you're not using advanced flats and bias, especially with a DSLR, uh, it just takes them at the fastest speed your camera can support and automatically sets your times and everything for it, um, but if you use advanced you can actually set your flat times and that for yourself. Uh, if you wish to. Uh, auto connect a DSLR if you're using one nothing wrong with having that enabled if you've got a DSLR that's supported. Uh, remember image effects this is to do with the imaging uh, preview effects in here if you have any set you can set it up so it keeps in between session that's personal choice again. Um, if you're using a, a DSLR you convert the uh, standard raw images into TIFF files just to note this copies them to TIFF you will still have the original raw files as well if you want to use that um, I have no problems working with the normal raw files with programs I use generally so that's not a problem there at all 
uh, remember object name and that's just if you've got an object here if you want to store it between sessions I don't I set it individually each session uh, just in case I forget to change it when I go to a new target uh, you can set uh, the plans your camera tab here when you hit start to ask if you want to you know, change the object name or whatever to double check it that's okay um, if you don't want to sync the DSLR camera sh camera clock with the PC clock you can do that I see no reason not to um, if you're having a remote desktop problem with your mouse cursor you can fix it here or at least try and fix it by using that that's for remote desktops if you're using a DSLR with a supported lens ie one that reports its focal length to the uh, camera or keeps it in the uh, fits header or whatever um, you can set this to determine the focal length and what that'll do is in your tools tab it will automatically fill the focal length uh, makes it easy for your plate solving and that uh, if you want to use autofocus you will still need to put in the uh, scope diameter just a warning on that um, disable the Nikon clock check dial check uh, Nikon dial check clock check uh, my brain's going numb if you have a Nikon it uh, I think it's to do with being in manual and bulb and everything I don't have one so I've never had to worry about that uh, wrong dial mode when a lens is detached okay so there you go that's what that fixes um, Lunatico GNS this is a program you, or an app you can purchase for your phone it's not a cheap app but basically what it is is if you have the app on your phone um, and you brought set this to broadcast to your GNS uh, to the program to the app it will send an alert when something's going on when something's wrong to your phone so you know you can go to bed lay down and it will send an alert if something goes wrong and it's not a cheap one but if you're really concerned about keeping track of your gear that's one way to do it um, but APT has the ability to, to, to work with it and last of all disable key thingies I always do this because I never use it anyway so <laughs> why have it enabled and it pop up when you don't expect it to but that's it for the advanced tab um, I hope you found this useful I wish you all clear skies and I will see you in another video take care all